Scott. Thanks. So what have you got for us? Okay, well, let's take that vision and let's put it into motion. Now, millions of gamers, um, since we launched the Xbox 360 worldwide last year, have experienced what true integration means with Xbox Live on the Xbox 360 platform. From the moment I turn on the console, whether it's games or entertainment, I'm instantly connected into the Xbox Live network. Now here what you're going to see is I'm starting up a game of Shadowrun, and my gamer tag, Avenger, is going to instantly log into the Xbox Live service. This is something you know and love today. Now, once I'm logged into the service, connecting to my friends and to the community is really simple. One press of the button, and I get instant access to the Xbox 360 guide. And here you'll see the guide that you're familiar with today and your friends list. Now, when I bring up the friends list, I want you to notice a subtle but powerful difference. Now what I'm seeing is no matter what the platform, whether it's Windows Vista, whether it's mobile, I have instant access to seeing what my friends are up to. Um, and they could be working, they could be playing, they could be listening to music, they could be watching movies. So Bill, what's really cool about this now is, is that I can connect with my friends. In this case, you'll see Major Nelson, who's actually working on Windows Vista. What's that all about? It's E3. So why don't I invite him to play a game? So I'm going to send Major Nelson an invitation, and it's just as simple as it is today. Right? I hit the button, I send the cross-platform game invite, one click of the button. So he's not on his Xbox, he's actually over on the Windows PC. Exactly. And uh, what, what'll that look like? Well, so once we extend this community to the hundreds of millions of gamers on, the, on Windows Vista, let's take a look at Major Nelson's desktop. So of course, as we saw, he's working. Can you believe that? What is that? So uh, now what you'll see on the right side of the Windows Vista desktop is, uh, in, the, in the Windows Vista sidebar, is his integrated friends list, just like you were talking about earlier, right? One friends list, one identity, again, multiple platforms completely integrated. Now, right below that integrated friends list, you'll actually see Major Nelson's gamer card. And an important point here, one gamer tag, no matter what the platform is. And when I'm on Windows Vista, I can be working on my reputation. Um, I could be uh, boosting up my gamer score. Now, remember the game invite that I sent just a second ago, Bill. What you're going to notice when it pops up is you'll see my gamer card that's a part of that invitation. And here it is, Avenger, popping up. Again, my reputation. You'll see I want to play Shadowrun. One click and we could be in the game, or in this case, Major Nelson can actually do a head-to-head -head comparison. And here you see the guide on Windows Vista. And what you'll notice in the guide is that you can actually do a head-to-head -head achievement comparison, one achievements list across Shadowrun, no matter whether I'm unlocking those achievements on Windows or whether I'm unlocking them on Xbox 360. And of course, as I said, getting in the game, Bill, is super simple. One click of the mouse button, and I'm instantly in. No NAT traversals, no IP addresses, no port forwarding, none of that kind of stuff. And as a gamer, Bill, what's really cool about this is, is that I get to use the controls I feel most comfortable with. If I like the keyboard and mouse on Windows, hey, great. If I like the controller, awesome. And in this experience, of course, I'll be able to real-time voice chat while we're playing cross-platform. Well, I'm envious. <laughs> I'm envious of that five-star reputation you've got there. Uh, well, you're going to have to get online a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, well, now we've got it on Windows. That'll help me, me and uh, hundreds of millions of others. Uh, but what about people who, who mostly are just with their cell phone? Give us a sense of what that...